due to health matters now and health services in Mombasa County remain paralyzed for the second week. Striking workers say the county government has continued to delay their salaries. They also accuse the county government of desegregation, desegregate, disregarding rather, their demands for more health professionals and improved facilities. Edith Kimani takes us through the perennial push and pull between government and Kenyan health workers. The message from the Mombasa County health workers is determined. The heat is on, they chant defiantly to their governor, and you better run, they conclude. Public health services have as a result of this strike been crippled, with those daring enough to go against the green publicly denounced. But the health workers say Mombasa County government had it coming. We had agreed with the county government last week that they will pay the salaries and fulfill other requirements that we had agreed in that uh, uh, memorandum by Friday last week. Those at the direct line of this fire are patients like this man who only got apologetic glances and shoulder pats where he had come for treatment. The desperation of the patients is evident. A man who says he has been waiting to see a doctor since 6 in the morning calls to us. Sisi unapotuona hapa ni wagonjwa wa dialysis. Leo tumekuja kwa matibabu yetu na mgomo ndo umefika. Kwa hivyo leo hatukufanyiwa dialysis. Wahid says he feels trapped with no treatment at the hospital and none at home. Yet this is a familiar narrative in Kenya. At the end of last year, doctors and health workers went on a 12-day nationwide strike, ending only after a string of meetings between government and the Secretary General of the Medical Practitioners and Dentists Union. Today, the health workers want the same things they have been demanding in past strikes, which have occurred over each of the last three years. The issue of uh, promotions for health workers, the issues for, co for employment into permanent and pensionable terms and condition of size for those health workers who are on contract, the issues of transfers for those nurses and other health workers. Mombasa County officials, however, say there is no need for all that. What we are actually doing this morning is urging the, the doctors uh, and the nurses and the pharmacists to actually check with their accounts and in the interest of care um, and the dignified care of the residents of Mombasa, return to work so that we can actually have no more services resuming. The hope is that the initial step to pay the salaries will get the workers back to work. But today, their resolve is unshaken as they go through hospital corridors, calling for mass action with innocent patients helplessly looking on. Edith Kimani, KTN. Well, that brings us to our big question tonight and we are asking, should health services be fully devolved? Should health services be fully devolved? That's right. That's the question on the table. Let us know what you think. You can do that by sending us an SMS. Double two one double five is the number. You can also tweet us at KTN Kenya, at Kachangira and at Wilson underscore Buru. Let us know what your thoughts are on that. And earlier we did speak to the Cabinet Secretary for Health James Masharia and we just wanted to get down to the bottom of this issue. Why are we not seeing the situation in Mombasa resolved? Here is that phone interview now. Yeah, we wanted to find out from you this evening why is the situation in Mombasa still the way it is? The workers are still on strike. Why haven't we come to a resolution yet? Well, uh, as, I, as I said uh, last week we heard about uh, three counties which have not paid their salaries by around uh, Wednesday last week. Uh, by the end of Wednesday, uh, Busia and Machakos did pay. And so only, only Mobasa was left. And uh, they gave me the assurance that they were paying by the last week. Mm -hmm. I understand uh, payments were made. Uh, but clearly, there are other issues. Uh, they have to do with uh, administration and management issues. Uh, and you know, affecting the county government and uh, the way they, they run the hospital. So that really has to be responded to by the county government mm -hmm. uh, because clearly I don't think there are other issues with the payment of salaries. 
but wouldn't you agree that this is a much larger issue i mean there's been a strike each year for the last three years there's been a medical workers strike isn't this a much more far-reaching problem than just mombasa and just the current situation well but you see what i'm saying is um, there's no other county which got issues as of now other than mombasa so there's not a nationwide strike it's not a national nationwide strike there's just one institution in one county which is not doing what they're supposed to do as simple as that so it's not a systemic problem which requires um, you know a policy intervention all what needs to be done has been done in terms of transferring the money making sure that uh, you know the the guidelines have been given to the counties and so um i know in the first year or the second year now uh, after the devolution of the health function and and so uh, we expected some killing problems but what is not acceptable is um, people de- delaying salaries because of, of uh, administrative inefficiencies. That clearly Kenyans cannot accept. As the CS for Health, I think we can reasonably say the buck does stop with you. So for those patients who are stuck in hospitals in Mombasa, uh, who are getting no attention, what hope or assurance can you give them? The buck stops the chairman of council of governors because of the vote function. So you're saying that this is his this is his problem to figure out. It is his problem because he has the money. You see, today he has the money. All the issues they're raising, I could have sorted them. I could have worked with money to deal with them. Mm-hmm. But if they have received the money, it means the back stops with them to deal with that issue. Thank you very much for speaking to us this evening. Thank you.